Hello everyone, my name is Elijah David, minister of the 12th Hour Apostolic Sabbatarian Congregation on the 12th Hour of Louisville, Texas. Today is September 2, 2013, or it is Elu 27, 2017. We will start our first service on the second day of the week with a song entitled, Have Thine Own Way, Yahweh. Have thine own way, y'all. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after the world. All I am waiting, feel it and still. Have thine own way. That's a very, uh, a very uh, present truth at this time, and it has uh, been fulfilled. And this here, let's start, like I said, with the verse 24. Well, actually, we start with verse 23. It says, "O inhabitant of Lebanon, that makest thy nest in the cedars, how gracious shalt thou be when pangs." Uh, come upon thee, the pain as of a woman in travail. Okay. Now this woman travailed in 2002 again. She travailed when she brought forth the man-child 2,000 years ago. Now this woman came uh, and repeated the same thing in 2002 as come to Texas. The woman was in travail to deliver the man-child again. <coughs> And it says, O inhabitant of Lebanon. Okay. As I live, said the uh, Yahshua, though uh, Coniah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, uh, were the signet upon my right hand, yet would I pluck thee thence. And I will give thee unto the hand of them that seek thy alive, and unto the hand of them whose face thou fearest, even into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans. And I will cast thee out, and thy mother that bare thee into another country, where you were not born, and there shall you die. Verily unto the land whereunto they desire to return, and thither shall they not return. Is this uh, man Coniah a despised broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out? He and his seed and, and are cast into a land which they know not. O earth, 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 
to the word of the Yahshua. Now, Earth and Palestine is the United States, and now we're talking about Texas as part of this earth. Thus saith Yeshua, Write ye this man, uh, childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days. For no man of his seed shall prosper sitting upon the throne of David, and ruling any more in Judah. Now Judah came back by the prophecy in 1890. Judah showed up in the prophecy of Ezekiel 4 as uh, being part of the Seventh-day Adventist spiritual Israel of the days of uh, part. They had their part in the Adventist church. They were separated in 1890 from the Adventists. They were separated from the Adventists, the Ten Tribes, and uh, they had a 40-year fast from 1890-1930, and then Judah became active in 1930 with B.T. Hollis at the helm with the new message called I Hear You the Rod and Who Hath Appointed It. And uh, so B.T. Hollis died after a while. His successor, Ben Roden, uh, Ben Roden uh, uh, worked for a while, about 15 years, finished out the rod and then Rhoda Johnson took over. And now all these men sit upon the throne of David in our day. Talking about B.T. Hart, Ben Roden, and Brother Johnson. They, they, they took their, uh, one succeeded the other, and they sit upon the throne of David. But keep in mind, Judah is repeating the antitype of what happened when they went into captivity the first time under Nebuchadnezzar. In other words, B.T. Hart was called to restore Judah with all the feast days. That order was given in 1844 for the Adventists to do that after 1844, any time after 1844. So Scott wrote that it's supposed to be done, put it back in the full operation. Well, the time come for it to be done with B.T. Hart, 1930. Well, he was repeating the antitype of Moses coming out of Egypt. And uh, he had that 40-year period in 1930-1970. Moses, the first 40 years, raised up the tabernacle. He went up into Mount Sinai and got the law, the whole law, the laws of the sanctuary, the Ten Commandments, and all. He had to make a second try at it because he had apostatized on the first time that he went up to get them, and he come back, punished them, had to go back up another 40 days and so forth, and get the law again. And then this time he came down and built the tabernacle according to the pattern that was shown to him in the mount. That's what B.T. Hall is supposed to do. He's supposed to receive the law, and which he did. He wrote, I wrote all about it, but he says, we'll, we'll restore it when we get into the land. But he didn't know that he was already in the land designated for this prophecy be fulfilled. He's already in the, in, in the new uh, Israel, Texas, represents the new Israel. Now, it says, uh, Woe be unto the pastors, this is Jeremiah 23 now, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, saith the elder. Therefore, thus saith the Yahweh, uh, Yahshua, Elohim of Israel, against the pastures that feed my people, uh, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Yahshua. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, where I have driven them, and will bring uh, them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, of which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the, uh, saith the Yahshua. Behold, the days come, saith the Yahshua, that, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. 
and the king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Okay, in his days Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely, and this is his name whereby he shall be called, the Yahshua our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Yahshua, that they shall no more say, the Yahshua liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Yahshua liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. Now, Egypt is in the south country, west of, uh, of, of Israel. And from all countries where they have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. But this Yahshua is going to be known from getting them from, from the north. Okay. And from all countries where they, I have I had driven them. So uh, Yahshua talks like that he's the one that drove all of his people into all countries. Yahshua is the one that did this. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, and a, like a man uh, whom wine hath overcome because of the Yahshua and because of the words of his holiness. Who is the author of the Old New Testament? Yahshua. So that's who we're talking about. He said, and because of, of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of the adultery, for because of the swearing the land morning. Pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. Uh, Jeremiah 23, 11, it says, uh, For both prophet and priest are profane, yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the uh, Yahshua. Wherefore their way as shall be unto them as slippery waves in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall therein, for I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their uh, visitation, saith the Yahshua. And I have uh, seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people to err. I have seen also in the prophets of Yahweh, it says, uh, and a horrible thing. Uh, they commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of the evildoers, that none that doth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants uh, thereof as Gomorrah. So, and I, upon separating from Gilead City, one of the last messages I give to uh, the wife that asked the question or posed a comment, and I was referring to her and the members of the church as court dates in a bomb, and I said, no, no, I'm not. I'm referring to y'all as the court dates in the bomb. And here it is right here in Jeremiah, is referring to these people uh, as a Sodom. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and uh, Gomorrah. So uh, here Jeremiah is using that same uh, uh, preposition as that I use. No, you're not coordinating in a bomb, but you're as the coordinating in a bomb. Therefore, thus saith uh, the Yahshua of the host, concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with the wormwood and make them drink the water of the gall. For from the prophets of Yahrushim is profaneness gone forth into all the land. And this is talking about all the land of Israel, all the land of Israel. 
and I started to end in Judah. Then I said to uh, Yahshua the host, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you, they make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the uh, Yahshua. They say still unto them that despise me, the Yahshua has said, you shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come on you. Uh, verse 18, For who hath stood in the counsel of the Yahshua, and hath perceived and heard his word? Who hath marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Yahshua is gone forth into fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. For the anger of the Yahshua shall not return until he have executed, until uh, he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken unto them, yet they prophesied. If they have stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil, uh, their evil way, and from the evil of their doing. Am I an Elohim at the hand, saith the uh, Yahweh, and not an Elohim of all? Can any hide himself in the secret places that I shall not see? Him, said the uh, uh, Yahshua, do not I fill heaven and earth, said the Yahshua. I have heard what the prophet said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How many times have I heard Brother Johnson over here say from the pulpit, I had a dream last night. Or the voice spoke to me at 3 uh, 05 in the morning and gave me this message. Or the voice spoke to me at 5 this morning and gave me this message. Or I had a dream. Okay. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets of prophesy lies? As long as you let them arraign, they'll, they'll prophesy lies for a thousand years if they could, if they could live that long. Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. See, the thing is, we're talking about these false prophets. These false prophets are the ones that are reigning over Israel. They're the ones that are in charge of the pulpit, of the temple service. It's these false prophets. Which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man unto his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. For the prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream, and he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat? said the Yahshua. Is not my word like as a fire? said the Yahshua, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, saith the Yahshua, that, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the uh, Yahshua, that use of their tongues and say, He saith. Behold, I am against them that prophesy all streams, saith the Yahshua, and, and do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies. And by the lightness, yet I sent them not, nor commanded them, therefore they shall not profit this people at all, saith the Yahshua. Well, we had two uh, uh, successors to V.T. Hollip before reaching me, Ben Roden and Brother Johnson, and they fulfilled the script right to the letter. Uh, 
Yahshua uh, did not send them to deliver the messages that they went and delivered. He didn't do that at all. Because all the places they went and all the messages they delivered came back upon their own head. And they never, they never accomplished a thing. Rather, they uh, uh, worsened the situation with the, in their own personal lives as well as the congregation of the Israel. And when this people or the prophet or a priest shall ask the sin, what is uh, the burden of the Yahshua? Let's reread that, Jeremiah 23, 33 again. And when this people or the prophet or a priest shall ask the sin, what is the burden of the Yahshua? Thou shalt then say unto them, What burden? I will ever for Sake you, said the Yahshua. And as for the prophet and the priest and the people that shall say the burden of the Yahshua, I will even punish that man and his house. This shall you say every one unto his neighbor and every one unto his brother. What hath the Yahshua answered? And what hath the Yahshua spoken? And the burden of the Yahshua shall be mentioned no more. For every man's word shall be his burden, for you have perverted the words of the living Elohim and the uh, Yahshua the host, our Savior. Thus shalt thou say unto the prophet, What hath the Yahshua answered thee, and what hath the Yahshua spoken? But since you say the burden of the Yahshua, therefore thus saith uh, the Yahshua, because you say this word, the burden of the Yahshua, and I have sent unto you, saying, You shall not say the burden of the Yahshua. Therefore, behold, I even I will utterly forget you, and will forsake you, and the city that I gave you, and your fathers, and cast you out of my presence. And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten. Okay, now let's go to um, Ezekiel 34. Let's see what Ezekiel has for us there. Okay, it says, And the word of the uh, Yahshua came unto me. Now here's Yahshua now visiting in Ezekiel. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of the Israel, prophesy, and say unto them, Thus saith the uh, Yahshua uh, Messiah unto the shepherds, Woe be unto the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherd feed the flocks? You eat the fat, and you clothe you with the wool, you kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. The disease, the disease have you not strengthened, neither have you healed that which uh, was sick, neither have you found up that which was broken, neither have you brought again that which was driven away, neither have you sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. They became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. Now, the first scattering of Israel in the day of Judah uh, was at uh, Waco, Texas in 1955 when B.T. Hollis died, fulfilling that there in Zechariah, uh, Zechariah 13, about verse 7, it says, Awake, O sword, uh, against my shepherd and against the man that is my fellow, saith the Yahshua of hosts, smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered. And he said, and then, and then I will then turn mine hand upon the little ones. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Yahshua, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Now I'll bring the third part through the fire, that's through the judgment. And we'll refine them as silver is refined, and we'll try them as gold is tried. Uh, they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people. And they shall say, uh, The Yahshua is my Savior. Okay. 
You know, it says that uh, uh, Ezekiel, I mean, uh, yeah, Ezekiel 34. It said, uh, verse 6, My sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon, and upon every high hill, yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth. What did I read to you earlier in a place where it says Yahshua is the one that uh, drove them into the north country and scattered them throughout all the countries where they had been uh, scattered, wherever they, wherever they went to live? He said, I drove them into those countries. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of Yahshua, as I live, saith the Yahshua El Messiah. Surely because my flock became a prey and my flock became meat unto every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd. Now they did not shepherds uh, search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of the Yahshua. Thus saith the Yahshua Messiah, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand, and cause them to cease from feeding the flock, neither shall the shepherds feed themselves anymore, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth, that they may not be meat for them. But thus saith the Yahshua, El Messiah, Behold, I, even I, will, be, will both search my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep and are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all places okay, where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. And I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the country and will bring them into their own land and feed them upon the mountains of the Israel, by the rivers, and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in a good pasture, and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their foe be. There shall they lie in a good foe, and in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of the Israel. I will feed my flock, and I will cause them to lie down, saith the Yahshua Messiah. I will seek that which was lost, and bring again that which was driven away, and will bind up that which was broken, and will strengthen that which was sick. And I will destroy the fat and the strong. I will feed them with judgment. Judgment begins the house of Yahweh in 2002, it's coming to Texas. 1 Peter 4, 17, start the judgment of living. And who fell the first judgment? The last false pastor assigned over the flock. That is the angel of the seventh candlestick. Verse 17, And as for you, O my flock, thus saith the Yahshua Messiah, Behold, I will, I will judge between cattle and cattle, between the rams and the he goats. Seemeth it a small thing unto you to have eaten up the good pasture, that you must tread down with your feet the residue of your pasture, and to have um, drunk uh, of the deep waters, but you must foul the residue with your feet. Kermit, Texas, they, they, they're the only one of the three feeding pastures that drunk deep of the deep water. They're the only one that had the deep water. And as for my flock, they eat that which you have trodden with your feet, and they drink that which you have fouled with your feet. Therefore thus saith the Yahshua Messiah unto them, Behold, I even I will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle, because you have thrust with side and with shoulder and pushed all the disease with your horns, till you have scattered them abroad, Therefore will I save my flock, and they shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle. And I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, even my servant David. Even his servant David. He shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. Well, who is putting out the present truth today? Uh, and typical David. 
and I, the Yahshua, will be their Elohim, and my servant David, a prince among them. I, the Yahshua, have spoken it. And I will make with them a covenant of the peace, and will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land, and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness, and sleep in the woods. And I will make them and the places uh, around about my hill a blessing, and I will cause the shower to come down in his season. There shall be showers of blessing. And the tree of the field uh, shall uh, yield her fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase, and they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am the Yahshua, and I have broken the bands of their yoke and deliver them out of the hand of those that serve themselves with them. And how does he deliver, how does Yahshua deliver his people? By the blood. And it's always at the Passover when he starts his delivery. And they shall no more be a prey unto the heathen, neither shall the beasts of the land devour them. But they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them a prey. And I will raise up for them a plant of the renown, and they shall be no more consumed with the hunger in the land, neither bear the shame of the heathen any more. Thus shall they know that I, the Yahshua the Messiah, am with them, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Yahshua the Messiah. And uh, ye, ye my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your uh, your Savior, say to Yahshua Messiah. Now how do we know uh, which is Yahshua's passion? Well, uh, he had three passions since 1844, Patient, Karma, and Gilead. Okay. Well, he has another passion now, and that's Mount Zion to throw it out. Uh, chapter 35 of Ezekiel. Uh, it starts off, uh, moreover, means in addition to, uh, the word of the Yahshua came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith the uh, Yahshua Messiah, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Yahshua Messiah. Because I have had a perpetual hatred, and have shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, in the time of their calamity, and the time of their iniquity had an end. In other words, you have done this at the time when Israel was uh, coming to the end of her iniquity and about to become a free Israel. So this, this would have to apply them to the end time. You have to tie, tie Daniel 9, 24, 27 prophecy in with this. So it's the only time that Israel and Judah has ever had uh, an end for their iniquity is that it had to be when a prophet uh, lays on his uh, right side and his left side for the iniquities of the, of the house of Israel and for the iniquity of the house of Judah. You'll find that in Ezekiel 4. Ezekiel 4, he mediated uh, the iniquities of the house of Israel. Okay. Therefore, as I live, said the Yahshua Messiah, I will prepare thee with uh, under I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Uh, Sith uh, thou hast not uh, hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desert, and kill off from it uh, him that pisses out, and him that returneth. Or he that passes out, I'm sorry. Uh, and I will fill uh, this mountains with uh, his slain men, and uh, thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain uh, with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolation, and thy city shall not return, and ye shall know that I am the Yahshua. 
Because thou hast said, uh, these two mountains and uh, these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, uh, whereas the Yahshua was there. Therefore, as I live, saith the Yahshua Messiah, I will even uh, do according unto thine anger, and according unto thy, uh, thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Yahshua, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel saying, they are laid desolate, they are given uh, us to consume. Thus, with uh, your mouth, you have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them, this says Yeshua Messiah. When the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate. Okay, now, when the whole earth rejoices, he's going to make not Sierra desolate. Well, another name for Mount Sierra is Babylon. Okay. Babel, in other words. All the language and the things that comes out of their lips is Babel. Ezekiel uh, 35, 15. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Sierra. There you have it. And all Idumea. Idumea is in Babylon. Even all of it. And they shall know that I am the Yahshua, the Savior. Now let's continue on with Ezekiel 36. <clears throat> also thou, son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel. And say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Yahweh. Here the word of Yahshua, the Son. Thus saith the Yahshua Messiah, because the enemy has said against you, Aha, uh -huh, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Now here's the enemy has said unto the house of David, that David, uh, Yahshua, Yahweh has raised up in these last days, and he says, the ancient, uh, your enemy, which is the terrors of the suffering from you in the judgment. That would be the terrors of the spiritual Israel today, and that would be the Advent Church. He says, they will, uh, they will say, the ancient high places are ours in possession. Not you, for David has inherited all the ancient high places. The kingdom of David in his last day. Okay. Therefore prophesy and say, Thus saith the Yahshua Messiah, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy of the people. Therefore, ye mountains of the Israel, Hear the word of the Yahshua Messiah. Thus saith the Yahshua Messiah unto the mountains. And these mountains are all the churches of the Seventh-day Adventists and the Davidian Seventh-day Adventists and all the Israelites of other uh, denominations all over the world. These are the mountains of Israel. And unto the hills, unto the rivers, and unto the valleys, unto the desert wastes, and unto the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and derision unto the residue of the heathen that are round about. Okay. So the heathen and the residue that are round about us today is the Adventist desolate uh, churches that have no uh, inspiration whatsoever in them. They're just social gathering places. That's all they are just to go and kind of abide a little bit of their, more, of, of their boredom. Okay. Therefore they said to Yahshua Messiah, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, 
and against all of Idumea. Idumea is Babylon, which have appointed my land into their possession. Now Idumea, Babylon has appointed in the land of Israel for her possession. And Obama is proving that today. He's the head of Babylon today. And he and, and he's a uh, Number one thrust in the world is to gather all of the bro uh, bro Black Brotherhood Muslims together, those that are infidels that hate Christianity. They even hate their uh, Christian brothers. They got the brethren that they're fighting against, first and foremost. See, a black, the Black Muslims, they have to destroy their Christian uh, brethren that are Muslims also in all those nations before they can get organized and come against Israel. Okay. So it says, uh, I have spoken against the residue of the heathen. And against residue means all those that are alive of the heathen that had gone before them. And against all Idumea, Babylon, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart with a despiteful mind to cast it out for a prey. What do you think the Obama and company are doing today? They're trying to get together uh, a League of Nations so that they can come against Israel and take it for a prey. And lo and behold, Obama has just been abandoned by two main big powers. Russia and Britain on her last uh, onslaught on the Syrians. Obama has been abandoned. Prophesy therefore concern the land of Israel and say unto the mountains and unto the hills and unto the rivers and unto the valleys. Now this is Ezekiel commanded to prophesy. So the son of man today that's opening up these prophecies is Antipho David. So now he's the one that is picking up this prophecy and uh, prophesying it live as a present truth message today, coming from the throne of David. Thus said to Yahshua myself, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because you have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore thus said to Yahshua myself, I have lifted up mine hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. But you, O mountains of Israel, you shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people of Israel, for they are at hand to come. Okay. For, uh, behold, I am for you, and uh, I will turn unto you, and you shall be tilled and sown. And I will multiply men upon you all the house of Israel, even all of it. And the city shall be inhabited, and the waste shall be built. So what does he mean by I will multiply a men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it. And the city shall be inhabited, and the waste shall be built. Go to Ezekiel 37 on the very next chapter. talks about the resurrection of the whole house of Israel of those body of dry bones. That's how he's going to multiply Israel upon the living ones today. He's going to resurrect them in their own land. And I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit, and I will sit on you after your old estates. In other words, 12 tribes of Israel have got 12 boundary lines, and they've got to stay within their own boundaries, each tribe. And I will do better unto you than at your beginnings, and you shall know that I am the Yahshua, your Savior. Yea, I will cause men to walk upon you, even my people of the Israel. And they shall possess thee, and thou shalt uh, be their inheritance, and thou shalt no more uh, henceforth bereave them of men. That says the Yahshua Messiah. Because they say unto you, Thou land devourest up men, and hast bereaved thy nations, 
Therefore uh, thou shalt be bound uh, men uh, no more, neither be read thy nations any more, saith the Yahshua Messiah. Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen any more. Neither shalt thou bear the reproach of the people any more. Neither shalt uh, thou cause thy nations to fall any more, saith the Yahshua Messiah. Okay, Obama is the last one that causes the nations to fall. And he's toppling them one after another right now. Moreover, the word of Yahshua came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their uh, the doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. Wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they have shed upon the land, and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries according unto their way and according unto their doings. I judged them. And when they entered into the heathen, whether they went, they profaned my holy name. And they said unto them, uh, These are the people of the uh, Yeshua, and are going forth out of his land. But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of the Israel had profaned among the heathen, whether they went. Now we're talking about the house of Israel being the ten tribes that went first into captivity uh, among the Assyrian in the north. Therefore say unto the house of the Israel, ten trot, thus saith the Yahshua Messiah, I did not this for your sakes, O house of the Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which you have profaned among the heathen, whither ye have went. But I will have to say that when he's talking about, Ezekiel's talking about this house of Israel, he's talking about the whole house of Israel, which includes Judah and Benjamin as well. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which you have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Yahshua, said the Yahshua Messiah. And I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. Okay. Yahshua started that sanctification in Gilead Center, but he sanctified three of us and set us apart to carry on the commission to raise up the Tabernacle of David and the foundations that has been uh, destroyed for many generations. That's in Amos chapter 9. I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will uh, put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk uh, in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. And you shall dwell in the land that I gave unto your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your Savior, that should the Messiah. I will also save you from all your uncleanness, and I will call for the coin, and will increase it, and lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree, and the increase of the field, as you shall receive no more reproach of the famine, said the heathen, uh, among the heathen. Then shall you remember your own evil ways, and your doings that were not good, and shall loathe yourself in your own sight for your iniquities, and for your abomination. Not for your sakes do I uh, uh, this, I say to Yahshua Messiah. Be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of the Israel. Thus say to Yahshua Messiah, in the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquity, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities and the, the way shall be built. There you have it right there. And the way shall be built. Go read uh, 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 Amos 9 for collaborating prophecy. 
And the desolate land it shall be tilled, whereas it lay desolate in the sight of all that passed by. And here we go, we're going to have the tilling of some desolate land. We got a lot of desolate land here in, in Texas that Yahweh tells me, and Yahshua tells me that we're going to be responsible for our organizing the tilling of this great, rich, fertile land here in Texas. And they shall say, uh, uh, and, and they shall say, this land that was desolate is become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste and the desolate and the ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited. And the heathen that are left round about you shall know that I, the Yahshua, build the ruined places and plant that that was desolate. I, the Yahshua, have spoken it, and I will do it. Thus say the Yahshua Messiah, I will yet for this uh, be inquired of by the house of the Israel. To do it for them, I will increase them with men like a flock. As the holy flock, as the flock of the Yerushalayim and her solemn feast, so shall the waste cities be filled with the flocks of men, and they shall know that I am the Yash, the Yahshua, your, your Savior. Now, what does it mean you're going to increase them? You're going to increase them uh, at the solemn feast. It means those that come to the solemn feast come through the judgment and are purified, and then he sends them out to the purified message to go get their brother and bring them in. That's how it increases them. Yeah? All right, then to chapter 36. Let's now go to chapter 37. He says, uh, The hand of the Yahshua was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the uh, Yahshua, or the spirit of the Yahweh, and set me down in the midst of the valley which is full of the bones, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Yahshua Messiah, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Yahshua. Thus saith the Yahshua Messiah unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Now will they send you upon you, and will bring upon you flesh, uh, uh, bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Yahshua. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied there was a noise, and behold, it shaking, and the bones came together, bone unto his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, Prophesy, son of man, and say unto the wind, Thus saith the Yahshua Messiah, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain, that they may live. So I prophesied, as he commanded me, and the breath came and to them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Remember when I read in the chapter 36 previous to this one, where I said he's going to multiply men upon Israel, even all of it? Well, here it is right here in Ezekiel 37, 11. This valley of dry bones is how he's going to do that. He's going to resurrect them in their own land. Therefore, prophesy said to them, Thus said the Yahshua Messiah, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of the Israel. And you shall know that I am the Yahshua when I have... Uh, opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and shall place you in your own land, then shall you know that I, the Yahshua, have spoken it, and performed it, said the Yahshua. 
for the word of Yahshua came again unto me, saying, Moreover, uh, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of the Israel, his companion. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companion. And join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thy hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou mayest by thee? Say unto them, Thus saith Yahshua son, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of the Ephraim, and the tribes of the Israel, his foes, that's your ten tribes, from the north, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. And the sticks for on their right shall be in thine hand before their eyes, and say unto them, Then saith Yahshua Messiah, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of the Israel. And one king shall be king unto them all, and there shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all, neither shall they uh, defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them, so shall they be my people, and I will be their Elohim. And David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd, and they shall also walk in my judgments, and observe my statutes, and do them. And they shall uh, dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of the peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their Elohim their Savior, their Shil Messiah, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Yahshua, be sanctified Israel on my sanctuary, and that I shall be in the midst of them forevermore. This brings the first us to this hour. You can contact us at the 11th hour call. That's number 11. Keep our audio archives. We're going to close this service now with a song by the Elijah David, Lead it to the rock that is higher than I. I found this uh, written in Psalm 61, verse 2, uh, leading to the rock that is higher than I, written by David himself. It said, From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. One day I started singing the song, Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, and here are the lyrics for that song. is higher than nine, I'll forever be, and did it to the sun, the very one who came to set me free, for the life in this world I have to live is but a stepping stone, for the greater heights I have to attend is an ever done alone, lead me to the rock, oh lead me to the rock. Lead me to the rock that is higher than mine. Lead me to the place of the Savior's feet. Lead me to the benches in the sky. A man on a mission came to this world, sort of on the sly. Born in a manger and scarcely a stranger, quickly seen passing by. The moon shone bright with the heavenly lights of all the starry hosts. For the brightest one of them all is the one that might the most. For the star point.
point to the newborn king as he lay in the manger's crib. For his descendant of the one who freed from the Adam's rib. As the time rolled on, many stories they told about the man of the Galilee. How he sang his water into the wine and made the blind to see. This is a man for all times upon whom men come to rely. For the witness of men need miracles right before their eyes. For I lived and he died and he rose again with the victory over the grave. To the proof in once and for all that he had the power to save. Living to the rock is higher than mine. Living to the fountain that never runs dry. Living in the path by the river of love. Leading me to those matches in the sky. Don't leave me in the desert, barren and dry. Thank grace forever and let to die. Brother, Lead me to that fountain that never runs dry. Lead me to the rock that is higher than mine. Lead me to the rock, oh, lead me to the rock. Lead me to the rock that's higher than mine. Lead me to the place of the Savior's feet. Lead me to the mansions in the sky. Oh, yes, lead me to those mansions in the sky.